What is a piece of advice that you would give your childhood self? My child self? Oh, that's a beautiful question. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I would say slow down. I'd say slow down, don't be in a rush. I would say don't put so much weight on what other people think of you. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And don't like don't suffer every blow as much. But I don't think it's possible. I think I wanted to be like an airplane when I grew up. I think like on those <laughs> career day things, it's like, you know, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I didn't know you couldn't be that. And I got into theater my sophomore year of college. And I think you use your 20s to like just wing it, just throw a bunch of darts in the wall and see what sticks and find a passion, find something that you enjoy. I remember being young and being so scared, like I had these big dreams and and you just put one foot in front of the other. You don't need to put like a hundred steps or calculate these hundred steps. So if I had to say to anyone who wants to pursue their dream, just one step at a time. What is a connection that you guys cannot live without? I need my family, I need my sisters, I need my roots. I need my husband. You know, we just lost a major character on our show who happens to be my best friend. Uh, and that is a connection that I will never let go of regardless of how much he tries to hide from me. I am always going to find him because I love him and he will always be my best friend. Oh, my daughter. Yeah. 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 My family. Yeah, yeah. Everything on this planet that matters is about a connection. It's a two-terminal universe. Nobody's alone. It's this, that, my son, you know, everything.